tickets. Those things we just don't ever get to seem to use. The question now is, how do I turn these into these? Let's discuss. What's up, guys? Welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Shiraz here on Thumbs Up Run, where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, and making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today, we're talking Ticketmaster refunds. How do we get our tickets, which are postponed and canceled and delayed and rescheduled, suspended? How do we turn those tickets into cold, hard cash? How do we get those refund dollars? How do we get those credits? What are the steps to take? And what do we got to do to make sure we get our money in our hands. Ticketmaster updated their whole refund policy. You can go ahead and click up over here, take a look at that video, it talks all about it. Now, how do we actually go ahead and request these refunds, request these credits? Very simple, let's jump into our Ticketmaster accounts. First things first though, I do wanna mention, you cannot request a refund through your Ticketmaster app. You must do so through mobile browser, or on the computer itself. There is no way to do it through the app, unfortunately. You gotta do it through the computer, you gotta do it through your mobile device on the mobile browser. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna jump over into Ticketmaster, so follow along, very simple, very easy steps, nothing to it. Once you're in Ticketmaster, step one, make sure you log in, and then jump over to My Tickets. Once you're there, you have a list of all your events that you have purchased tickets for. Scroll to the ones that actually say either a new date, postponed, or canceled. So we see here, we got an event for Ricky Gervais, new date, ooh. Very exciting. He's added a new date. It was postponed. It has now been rescheduled. So we got ourselves 30 days on the clock. Once you get to the event page here, you'll see the same thing. Your event has been rescheduled. Your tickets are still valid. So again, if you still want to go to the event, don't do anything. You're good. You don't care about your money. You don't need it back. You still want to go see the event. Fantastic. Just do nothing. It's easy. Once you're on the page, very simply scroll down. You'll be able to see a big blue box. It basically says request a refund. And that is where we're going to go ahead and actually start the process. Very, very simple. Now it says here we'll process it in as soon as 30 days. Uh, wording is a bit funny. Some people could interpret that as saying within 30 days. Some people would interpret that as saying as soon as 30 days, as in 30 plus days, you'll get your refund. Let me know in the comments below how long it actually takes for you to get your refund once you hit the request button. So go ahead, hit request. It's going to load up a new page. What it's going to do is actually display all the tickets that you have that are eligible for a refund. Uh, and then it'll actually see the amount that you can get refunded back and the card that it'll be paid back onto. Again, this is the card that you had initially made the purchase on. So just pay attention to all these details. Go ahead, review the information. Once you hit the box there, you're basically agreeing to their terms and conditions. You should go ahead and actually take a quick peek at those if you are curious. Otherwise, that's it. Just hit the little blue box. Bob's your uncle, you're done, you're easy. Then you just wait for your refund to show up. That's it, that's it, that's all, nothing else to it. Your tickets will no longer be valid once the refund has processed. And that, my friends, is how you request a refund. Now, if you wanted to request a credit, it would be the same process. There'd be an option there to select request a credit instead of request a refund. Uh, again, not that much different. You can just go ahead, take a look and see, read the terms and conditions. Make sure you make sure you read the terms and conditions because there will be some stipulations that will potentially hinder the ability to actually use that credit. Initially, when it was announced, it made it sound like the credit could be used for any type of Ticketmaster event, but unfortunately, the credits is actually tied directly to that venue, so you can only go ahead, spend the money there. Not exactly a huge issue if you live in the area, you go to events there all the time when, you know, when you can go to events. Uh, so from that point of view, it's not that bad. But again, if you do want to get that cash back, go ahead, request the refund, all is well, nothing to worry about there. Now, final question that might come up, how do I know if my event has been postponed, canceled, rescheduled? Very reasonable question. Uh, a couple things. One, Ticketmaster should be sending you an email when an event has actually been officially postponed. If it has been canceled, you'll get actually get an email from Ticketmaster. It'll say, hey, by the way, event has been canceled. You'll be refunded within 30 days, blah, blah, blah. All the boilerplate knowledge information there. So you can go ahead and read that. It should be fine. When an event has been postponed, you will get an email from Ticketmaster and it'll basically say, hey, your event is postponed. And then it'll tell you the very important details if whether the event has been rescheduled or not. Again, if it has been rescheduled, you have 30 days to go ahead and request that refund. Otherwise, you're gonna hold on to those tickets, they'll still be valid. If they are not rescheduled though, then again, 60 day clock starts. You have They have until 60 days to reschedule that event. If they aren't able to actually get it rescheduled, refund window will then open up. All events will eventually be eligible for a refund once it has gone through the whole postponed rescheduled process. But again, some events that are scheduled for the summer, for the fall, for the winter, they might not actually be officially postponed until much, much closer to the event date. So again, you should be paying attention to these things. Go ahead, check your email constantly. You should also be receiving information from the actual artist event venue itself when an event has been postponed or canceled or rescheduled. So again, there are a few ways to go ahead and find out about this. Or you can just jump on the internet, jump on Twitter, go ahead, find out what's going on there, get all your information that way. So again, there are a lot of ways to get this information. But again, 
If you want to get your refund, you do need to request it if it has been postponed. If you do not request a refund within those 30 days, you're going to miss your chance to get your money back. So as soon as you find out that it's been postponed, you got to go in, you got to make the selections or else you're not going to be able to get your refund. But if the event has been canceled, don't have to do anything unless you want to request that credit. That kind of covers everything for today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button because it definitely helps out a lot. If you're interested in more content, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the little bell icon so you never miss out on anything ever again. And see you guys next time.